Today, Challenging Star Darshan's uh, Kranti has finally released on the occasion of Republic Day and I happened to watch it, uh, the first show, at around 6 a.m. and I already have my review, uh, which you can find it and read it on the South First website and its, and its uh, social media handles. Well, uh, getting back to the movie review, so how's Kranti? Is it yet another over-the-top commercial movie or uh, does it make any sense or some sense? Or is it just made only for the diehard fans of uh, Darshan? Or does it have something additional to the ones which we usually see uh, with, with the star heroes in the lead? Well, the answer is yes. Yes to all of them. Yes, it is uh, definitely made for the diehard fans of Darshan. Yes, it makes some sense. Yes, it is definitely over the top uh, commercial drama with. Uh, all the boxes ticked by the uh, director it has um, at least half a dozen of fights it has a special number or you call it item number or you call it like a romantic song introduction song punching dialogue all packed to 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 uh, as a result you know a feast for the darshan fans but beyond all of this there is something else to it also and it talks about the edu educational system yeah, it might sound like, you know, it kind of hits two targets in one one shot or one bullet. The director has kind of well balanced it, like, you know, catering to the entertainment aspect and also to deliver something which makes sense to the audience, even though if it is has to be called one time watch. But, you know, for the diehard fans, it's a must one. So what it talks about is the educational system, the privatization of education system, you know, especially in this film, it talks about uh, the plight, the sad state of affairs of uh, government schools. So apart from all of this, what else uh, a movie buff can think about in this or can seek for entertainment in this movie? Well, nothing much actually, but it still, it still sails to such an extent that, you know, it is not that it is very unbearable or which you can't sit for over two and a half Arts, especially if you are a Darshan fan, you would definitely celebrate it, you know, whom he calls celebrities, they would definitely enjoy it. But apart from the ones, it is not for the serious minds, not like people who are looking into every aspect, every technical aspect or everything, you know, uh, like award winning movies, you know, all that aspects. It's not of that. It is just a simple, clean, neat entertainment. Yeah, it has all of that fight wherein, you know, usual fights wherein a hero kicks or beats 50 to 100 people, he keeps punching everyone with his own dialogues, punchy dialogues, it has songs as I said, it has songs, it has foreign location, it has a pretty heroine and it has another pretty heroine doing an item number and yes, we have all senior actors right from uh, Ravi Chandran sir, Mukhya Mantri Chandra sir, Uma Shri madam and yes, we also have a surprising uh, f um, element uh, wherein uh, Sumalata Madam acts as a uh, chief minister. So it has all of it. Of course, there are bad guys also. Ravi Shankar, you know, is one one to pick if you have to, you know, in, in terms of the villains. But um, there are much more to it also. But um, doesn't go beyond all of this. So that is why I call this or I rate this movie a three star. But definitely a feast for the Darshan fans. Mm, they won't be disappointed. But they could have expected, you know, their expectations were much more. Hope we get to see a much more entertaining with a much more sensible uh, film uh, from Darshan and um, his next venture. So I'm signing off. Please do read my review. Uh, I have the link here.